Dylan E says, this is kind of cool one, if you could pick any skater to be on zero with you, who would it be? A lot of totally awesome dudes. But also, then I'm condemning them, like, if I like who they ride for, then I'm like... No, no, this is just like, <laughs> I'm a fan of this dude, it'd be cool if he was on zero. Dennis Boozness. Oh, okay. Final answer, lock it in. Justin G says, how close are you to Children of Bodom, and, or are you just a fan, and when are your mid-top mid shoes coming out? I know all the dudes, and we're friends. They're all super cool, just like down-to-earth, normal people. So that's pretty rad. Mid-top comes out now. You've learned new tricks this month? They had a bump to straight bar. I came up on this side, like front side 50 style, and did a front side uh, 270 to switch back whip and then came out switch. That was a trick that I pulled. I don't know if I'm gonna pull it again or yeah. anything like that, so. You listen to Rick, Rick Springfield? Nope. <laughs> Billy Marks, is he best friend or no? Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, Billy's cool though. Yeah. Billy. yeah Billy's definitely cool. Right. Billy's best friend is Daniel. That's obvious too. I don't want to be best friends with Billy if he's not going to be my best friend. Yeah. I mean, who wants that? Uh, hey Chris, okay, so Jack says, hey Chris, what is your favorite skateboarding memory of all time? Oh, probably winning skater of the year. But that's not actually skateboarding. Well, that's a great memory. Like, was there any trick that, like, you tried for super long and you were... Yeah, Wallenberg. Wallenberg? Was that probably the best one? Never yeah, that was, that, was the, that was the most beat up. Beat up and still going. You, like, how many beat. times do you think you fell? Like, 20? It was 68. What? 68, yeah. 68? They, they, they counted. Oh. I didn't count. That was... <laughs> You're like, I don't I was like, I'm not, yeah, I'm not reliving that. 68. How... In one day, really? Yeah, that's some uh, gladiator stuff right there, Chris. That's crazy. Oh. It's like, how did your body even, you how did you get that go and Go into survival mode, where <laughs> it's just like, you're actually battle, you're actually fighting for your life. There's like certain goes when you're, when you're skating that like, you kind of like blacked out in the air and you're not even thinking at all about the trick and then you w land on your board and you're riding away. Yeah. And then you realize like, I just made that. That's crazy, and that was one of those goes. So, Everett Janish says, has having a son changed the way you think when you're skating? I make more of my time. Most of the time it's just, I'm away from my family right now to skate, and I'm going to make the most of skating. Yeah. I want to skate as much as I possibly can. That's why Woodward Skate Camp's awesome. Weirdo, W-I-R-D-O, says, how did you learn to skate when you were young? Did you just do it on your own? Like, were you watching videos? There was a kid uh, who was older, Jason McCallan. He taught me how to ollie. Yeah. He slid it up. I still use exactly what he said as my model for how to ollie. It's funny. Yeah, I just learned how to skate on my own, like, after that. Jonathan says, when you started skateboarding in the beginning, who was your favorite skater? I had a lot. I had a lot of favorite skaters. It went from my first favorite skater was Christian Osoy. And then it was uh, Pepe Martinez. Like those were the two that were like hands down my favorite, like no matter what. Mm -hmm. And then Tom Penny. But Tom Penny was everybody's. I actually made like a, a, like a book of like all of his like, like photos mm -hmm. in the magazines. I'd like rip them out and then staple them back to back and then made like a book of it and made like a mixtape of like his tricks and like Edney's high five and then like four and one tricks and stuff like that. Ethan Boozmeyer says, what's your favorite trick? I really like ollieing. I'd say going really fast and ollieing a gap that I don't have to go that fast to ollie. You know, so you just like float. Ollieing a gap with like the perfect speed is awesome. The same guy, Ethan, says, uh, did you finish high school? I did. Well, like, what age did you start skating sponsored by and stuff? I was, I was sponsored by a shop at 12, but I, uh, I was going to, like, Tampa Ams and stuff before I was, before I had graduated. And Caesar says, what tricks do you hate? Oh, man. 
So, there's so many tricks that I hate. <laughs> and it's not like, it's not like I hate them, like, like you shouldn't do them either. But like, they're just really, really tough for me. Front side when you pivot grinds are really tough for me and I hate them because I want to do them. Because mm. I actually want to be down with them. I want to like them, but they just make me hate them. Uh, fake each other heel flip. You can land it, but it never feels, you never feel good about it. Uh, Ryan yeah. says, you have plenty of tattoos. What is your favorite one and why? I don't think I've gotten my favorite tattoo yet. I'd probably just go with the, um, the horses on my arm over here. Rhino says, do you think one day that your band, Hot Wax, nope. will open for both? <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> it's just a no. It's a no already. There were plenty of questions about this. Like, are you going to be like Jeremy Rogers and quit? And huh. not like rap. I think, they just, I think they just wanted to talk about Jeremy Rogers. I think maybe that's the truth. Um, no. We don't do anything. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Justin G says, what is your real name? Exclamations. My real name is James. James Cole. Yeah. Cole's your last name. It is. Someone else in here asked what your middle name is, so if you want to... My middle name is Chris. James Chris Cole. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. So Jonesy says, so Chris, you're, you're a businessman now. How's that skate shop coming? I live in West Virginia, so I think you should expand and get me a job in these tough times. I think that there's probably already some skate shops over there. We don't want to step on anybody's toes. But, um... Tell him to start a skate shop. That'd be sick. There we go. You know, we could always use more core skate shops. Drew, Drew Pets says, Chris, first off, you're insane. The tricks you pull off are ridiculous. I was a huge fan of yours back when you did the digital part when you were on World Industries with your baggy clothes. And it's crazy to see how you've gotten better and better. My opinion, you're the best. As skateboarding progresses, how do you come up with new and unique tricks? It seems every part you have over half of the stuff no one else does. How do you do it? Well, you kind of paint yourself into a corner. The more, the more good you do, the more you have to live up to it. Yeah. And a lot of times that's like the driving force is, um, is when filming a video part to enjoy what you're doing while making a part that everybody's going to be happy to watch. Yeah, you just, you have to progress while having fun. Because the last thing I want to do is be like sitting there like, you know, stressing out, like wishing I was like throwing my board or like, you know, that's not fun. That's not going to make you want to go out and skate again. I think that that a lot of times shows in the, in the part too. So I just want to have fun and hopefully that ends up working. Do you feel a lot of pressure? Yeah. Ryan R. says, what does skateboarding mean to you and what kind of impression do you want to leave on the young rappers that look up to you? Not to be like, not to be a weirdo, but skateboarding was everything to me. Like my whole entire life was all about skateboarding and like until, you know, until recently, I didn't do anything but care about skateboarding, you know? And now like, now I've found that you can have you can still love skateboarding just as much as you did, but you can fill your life with other things as well, like, you know, other hobbies and family and things like that. 